Hi, it's John Whitehead and welcome to this week's video blog post. Over the last four weeks, I've been exploring TRACOM's social, social style model of behavior and communications. It's a very simple model, easy to use, and that's one of the reasons why I really, really like it. It's really a model that uh, splits uh, behavior communication into four basic groups, the driver styles, expressive styles, amiable styles, and uh, analytical styles. And over the last four weeks, I've talked, uh, talked about that. Today, what I wanted to do is just kind of bring that together. There's a couple of things to think about about this style. Number one, it's very, very simple and e quite easy for people to grab hold of. Why? Because really, you only have to think of four things. Ask, uh, tell assertive and ask assertive. Is somebody being tell assertive? Are they moving quickly? Are they act saying things in a telling way? Are they saying things in an asking way? Or do they, are they more thoughtful? Or are they slower paced? As simple as that. Do they talk slow? Do they talk fast? The other dimension is emotions. Are they showing their emotions? Or are they controlling their emotions? Do they show their emotions on their sleeve? Or do they have a, are they tend to control and hide their emotions? So if you put those together, you end up with the four quadrants. Now, again, that's, that's all you have to do is watch somebody and just very quickly see, you know, when they're talking to you, did, did they talk in a telassertive way? Are they direct to the point or are they less so? And they can be anywhere along that continuum. So that's one, it's very, very simple. The other is there's no right or wrong quadrants, right? If, if you know, it's, um, if you're a driver, you're a driver. If you're an amiable, you're an amiable. That's who you are. And as I spoke about earlier, one of the areas uh, in the social style model talks about versatility, and that's your ability to recognize where people are and be able to communicate with them in their style. Or as I like to say, neighborhoods. If I live in a particular neighborhood, I live in the, as I've talked about before, I live in the expressive neighborhood. But how can I recognize if somebody else is a I lives in the driver neighborhood or the analytical neighborhood or the amiable neighborhood? And if I could recognize that maybe that person was in the amiable, then what I will try and do is move to their neighborhood and talk to them in their neighborhood, in their style. And that brings up something that's called the platinum rule. Now, many of you have heard of the, will know of the golden rule, pretty well all of you will know of the golden rule, that's you treat people how you wanna be treated. Some of you may have already heard of the platinum rule, which says you treat others how they want to be treated. So one of the reasons I love this model, it's simple, it's easy to use. The other reason I love this model, it's been around since the 60s, so there's a ton of research about it that says it's so relevant even today as it was in the 60s. And the academic part of me loves the research and the data. One of the interesting things about the research and data says that the, the world, the population, is actually split fairly evenly, 25%, 25%, 25%, 25%. Pretty close to that, right? Off by a few points here and there, but that's, so you're gonna run into people with all styles. One other important thing to note that I think is critical about this model is your style doesn't determine your occupation. Not all analyticals are going to be accountants or computer programmers or scientists. Uh, not all amiables are going to be healthcare or social workers, although there's a tendency to find more people who are amiables in those lines of work. It doesn't say you have to be, okay? And I, for example, I run, a, I talk to a lot of leaders, I've coached a number of leaders who are actually amiables, okay? And so we can have a mixture. So again, that's another reason why I love that. It's really mixed up and you can be any of those styles. But finally, the main reason why I love this is it gives us a grounding. It gives each, all of us a grounding in first of all, recognizing who we are, recognizing why we are behaving and commuting in a certain way, communicating a certain way. And it also then allows us to recognize other people. And the studies in the research have shown as if we spend time and we focus on those things, then we can reduce stress, then we can reduce conflict, we can increase our workplace productivity because we're recognizing where people are. As I say in my coaching session to managers, 
if you're a driver and you have an amiable working for you, just recognize that that's, they're an amiable. Manage that, live with that, work with that, um, take advantage of what the amiable brings to your team. Allow that to, uh, that, allow that person to grow by um, helping them enhance their amiableness and help them by introducing them to the other styles and what that means. So that's my blog for this week. Thank you very much for listening and watching. If again, as always, please feel free to add a comment to the bottom and uh, we'll talk to you again next week. Thank you very much.